Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going guys? Welcome back to The Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be looking at player leveling. We're going to make a pretty simple player leveling system in this episode, and then in the next episode I'm going to show you guys how you can implement this player leveling system by, with like scoreboards and ranks and stuff like that. So we're going to explore that in a little bit. But for now, what we're going to do is we're just going to get started with this. So once again, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub. So if you're having troubles, uh, just go over there and check it out and see what you're missing. All right. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to make this player level manager uh, encapsulation class, which basically just private int. And we'll just make this actually a private int XP just because, uh, well, uh, it just should just be XP or an int because we don't really need to have decimals for XP. So then we're just going to create all the getters and starters for that. Pretty easy stuff. You're out of there. Also, we're going to need to config.yml. Inside of here, we're going to have player levels. And we're going to have levels. And then this is going to be level one, the XP you needed, the item that you get, and then the amount. Obviously, you can make this uh, customizable for what you want. Like you said, like I said, in the next episode, we'll show how you can uh, implement this system with ranks and stuff like that. But the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and make a way for our system or our plugin to basically know, well, basically all the values. So we're going to create a hash map of players UUIDs and then the player level manager that they're going to be set to. And we'll just call this uh, level manager hash map. And then what we're going to do is in our on enable, we're just going to say this stunt level manager hash map and equals a new hash map. All right, cool beans. Then real quick, we'll just go ahead and say uh, public void on disable. Let's just go ahead and oops, uh, this dot level manager dot clear. We're just gonna clear it out real quick. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is obviously we have our config being loaded and set and we're registering the events of this class. So what we wanna do next is we're gonna say at event handler and public void join, and this is going to be a player join event. Sorry about that, that was probably super, super loud. It's just my watch telling me that I need to stop sitting down and get moving. And okay, so then let's go ahead and just cast the player, player equals event.getPlayer. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is let's just set the join message to nothing because we don't really wanna have a join message right now. Uh, so then the next thing we're going to do is we need to basically make a way for our system to see if the player has played before. Luckily, Bucket does a really awesome way of doing that. It literally just say player that has played before, and then we can run something. So if they haven't played before, we are going to basically set up a couple things. So first off, we're going to send them a message because we want to be friendly when they join our server, right? So we're going to send them a message, and we'll just make this uh, that color. I forget. I think that's aqua. Uh, then we're going to say welcome your level is, and we'll just say zero, because they don't have a level. Then the next thing we're gonna do, oops, is what we're gonna say is we're gonna say this.levelManager.put, and we're going to put the player, so UUID, and then we're gonna set a new player level manager, and it's just gonna be zero, zero, because they don't have anything yet, because they just joined. Then what we wanna do is we have to go ahead and get the config, and then we gotta set it because we want to make sure that the they're getting set in the configs. So that way, when they rejoin, uh, they'll have all their values. So we'll just say this, and not get scoreboard, get unique ID, and then we're just going to say level. And then what we're gonna set is we're just gonna set zero because that's what it is. And then we'll change this to XP, and that's also gonna be zero. And then we want to do is we're just gonna say this dot save config because. Uh, we need to save it or else it won't save. And then we're going to make one more method here. And this is going to basically just be their scoreboard. So private scoreboard. And then this is just going to take a player, player, and an int level, int XP. So what we need to do in here is we're just going to say, pretty, pretty simple down in this part. Uh, I'm not going to make a super clean method for setting the players or updating the player scoreboard, I'm just gonna make a way for us to just quickly uh, and kind of dirtily 
uh, send them a scoreboard. So we're just going to say scoreboard manager. And we're going to skip over a few steps here. So we're going to say scoreboard scoreboard equals this dot get server dot get scoreboard manager dot get new scoreboard. Pretty neat. And do we import the wrong? We imported the wrong scoreboard. So we can get rid of that. And we can get rid of that scoreboard. We want bucket scoreboard. Always good to look at your imports. Uh, and then we're just going to go ahead and grab objective. Objective equals scoreboard dot register new objective. And we're just going to call this test and dummy. Then what we can do is we can say objective dot set display name. We'll, we'll just say player level. Then we'll go ahead and say objective dot set display slot. This is going to, I'm not sure why my IntelliJ keeps doing that. Display slot dot sidebar. I literally clicked S, oh, because it's capital S, that's why. All right, display slot dot sidebar. You gotta change it to set. I don't know why I went to get. Does that too a lot. All right, then what we're gonna go ahead and say is we're gonna say score, and this is going to be level, and this is going to be objective. Dot, or sorry, dot get score, and we're just gonna say level, and then plus a pretty color, plus green, and then we're just going to say level. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, but we're gonna have to change this to LVL because we can't obviously duplicate and we're going to change this to EXP and then we'll say XP and this is going to be XP. Then obviously we need to set it so we'll just say LVL dot set score we'll set it to one and then we'll just say EXP dot set score and we'll set this one to zero. Then we will just go ahead and set the player scoreboard dot set scoreboard and this is just going to be scoreboard. Okay, so then after this and the player has played before, what we're gonna do is we're just going to basically run a scoreboard. So actually we'll set it right here. So um, we'll just say this dot score. Did I name it score? What did I name it? Oh, private scoreboard. So let's just name that score since scoreboard already well they both kind of exist so we'll say set score so we'll change this to set score so I'll take the player and their level and their experience which is zero but now we also want to make a check to see if the player has been on the server before so we're just gonna do something pretty pretty much the same uh, nothing too wild about it uh, so what we're gonna say here is we're just gonna say int level equals this dot get config and we'll just grab this entire thing here and we're going to go ahead and grab int there it is and then we'll change this to xp and we'll change this to xp and then we'll basically just say player oops sorry not player level manager hash map dot put and we're just going to grab the player's uuid and then their level and then oops and then we want to say new player level manager and that's going to be level and XP pretty easy and then we'll set their scoreboard again so we'll say set score and we'll just say uh, level XP and I forgot the obviously the player cool so now that we have a way for basically this to show us our level we need to go ahead and first off uh, let's quickly just do this we got to make sure we're removing the player from the hash map uh, when they leave the server because we don't want a hash map filled with players who are no longer online so player quit event event and then we'll just go ahead and basically just grab this player here so we'll say player player equals event dot get player then we want to go ahead and say if this dot level manager hash map dot contains player dot get unique id we are going to go ahead and say this dot level manager dot remove player dot get unique id other than that they're good to go so what we need to do now is we basically need to have a system that will run 
uh, when something happens. So you can make this your events happen whenever you want. Uh, I'm going to make mine particularly happen on an event, or a block break event, because it's the most easy to showcase. So block break, and we'll just say block break event event, and let's grab that player once more. <laughs> Equals event dot get player. Okay. Then let's go ahead and grab their player level manager. This is just going to be player level manager equals uh, this dot level manager hash map dot get player dot get unique ID. And now we can go ahead and grab all their values when we need them. So what we're going to do next is let's just go ahead and get the block of this event. So block block equals event dot get block. And what we're going to say is if block dot get type equals material dot stone. Uh, we're going to say player level manager dot set XP equals player level manager dot get XP plus 100. And then what we'll do is we'll send the player a message player dot send message. Not no send message. And we'll send it here. You have gained or actually we'll just say plus 100 experience. Then what we're going to do is we need to make a method that checks the level or checks their experience and if they have enough experience it's going to level them up. So we're just going to make a quick private void XP check and this is just going to take a player's uh, int XP. That's all we're going to need. So we're going to say if, well, first off, we need to go ahead and look at our config here. So we have levels one XP. So we need to grab that because that's the XP that they need to get to there. So we're going to say int XP needed equals this dot get config dot get int, and it's going to be levels dot one dot XP. Then what we can do is we can say if XP needed is equal or I guess we say greater than or equal to XP, we are going to basically send the player a message. Oh, so we're going to need a player. I lied. Player, player. There we go. So we're just going to say player dot send message and we'll make it gold leveled up and then we'll just go ahead and say player level and we just gotta quickly grab their player level manager player level manager equals this dot level manager dot get player dot get unique ID forgot we're gonna need that there or really what we could do is we could just go like this and we can just say player level manager manager I guess we should keep the context the same as always. Then we don't have to grab all that and then we'll just put it up there. So then we'll just say player level manager dot set level level and we'll set it as one because that's what it is for the first one. Um, just for this one in particular, obviously you guys could make this much more complex than the way I'm doing it. So we have them leveling up. So what we need to go back into our block break since this is when the event's going to be thrown and we will just say XP check. It's going to be a player player level manager and I guess we don't need their XP because we can just go ahead and oops that's not where I want to take it from we don't really need their XP here because I can just take it from here and just say int XP equals play level manager dot get XP it's easier a little cleaner so we are checking their XP and then we're going to update their score set score because um, that because we're updating their scoreboard and then we're just going to be play level manager dot get XP play level manager dot get level I've made these backwards so get level play level manager dot get to XP okay so I think we should be all set here so if we go ahead and export this and if we go to our server here oh and one more thing before we do that we want to just go ahead and uh, save uh, the config there with their their new updated values. Well, I guess we don't really have to save the config there, so we'll just go ahead and actually, uh, we'll save the config when they leave. 
How about that? That sounds much better. Because uh, we can just have a set to that inside the hash map the whole time. So we'll just say play level manager dot get level. And then we'll just say play level manager dot get XP. So now let's re export this. And there it is. And let's run this. I'm actually going to have to go to the world here and delete player data because I've always obviously already existed in that world. So you can see there, uh, welcome, your level is zero. And obviously that's very clear to see. So let's go ahead and grab some stone here. X. There we go. Okay, so if we start breaking these, you can see plus 100 experience. And as you see there, my level or my experience has hit 50 and we have leveled up. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like and subscribe. Like I said, on Thursday, we'll talk about using this system to set um, scoreboard and ranks and stuff like that. So tune in then. But for now, see you guys later.